Greetings viewers, this is Chaconatic. Welcome to the Adventures of Lyle, my Prowler Mode playthrough of Monster Hunter Generations. In the last episode, we hunted the Laggy Acris. And, uh, <clears throat> as you can see, now we're back in good old Kokuto Village for a very special episode. This time around, we're finally hunting the Rathalos. And yeah, we're kicking it old school by uh, starting off from Kokuto Village uh, as a way of making up for the fact that I accidentally forgot to start from Kokoto Village back in the uh, Astalos episode. I, I didn't mean to, I, I just forgot last time. So we're making it up for it by starting from Kokoto this time. And I guess you could also say I'm uh, honoring Astalos's memory even further by wearing his armor. <laughs> but mostly I'm just wearing this set because it's super effective against Rathalos. So without further ado, let's uh, get this highly anticipated hunt underway. I, for one, have been anticipating it very much because uh, this will finally be the monster that we need to hunt in order to unlock the uh, Palico uh, skill or support move, whatever it's called, uh, Wrath of Meow. Which is basically like an adorable little tank that you roll around in and just destroy everything. And I am going to use the shit out of it after this episode when we finally unlock it. And speaking of which, we have a surprise guest. Univer is with us. I haven't seen you since the first episode. He's finally back. Uh, and the reason for that is Univer can actually learn Wrath of Meow. So uh, I brought him along so that he will learn it upon us completing this quest. And you'll get to see it on screen. And it'll be all fancy. And yeah, he'll be the one who teaches it to Lyle afterwards. And boy, am I excited to start using it. It just looks so much fun. Ever, ever since I first saw like the first trailers for Prowler Mode and them using the uh, tanks, it just looked so cool. And I'm like, I want that skill. I don't care what I have to do to get it. Even if it means hunting a Rathalos, I'll do it. In fact, I'm the only one who can. All right, Rathalos, let's do this. And I don't even know where I'm aiming. And yeah. Oh, and one more thing. Meowk happens to be wearing the uh, Laggy Acris armor. Uh... Since we beat him, we can start wearing that as well, too. All right. And the subquest is to sever his tail, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Just because it's so friggin' hard to hit his tail as a cat. Like, yeah, I can't even hit it while he's flying. He, he moves around too damn much. And my god, these Apsaros just don't know when to fuck off, do they? They are, like, hyper-aggressive. It's ridiculous. Like, somebody needs to send them, send them the memo that they're just weak little herbivores and really shouldn't be messing around with other people. As you can probably tell, Apsaros, I got more important matters to attend to right now than messing with you. So, yeah, on this set... This time around, I have uh, earplugs, as you could tell, as well as uh, wind resistance. So that means I'm not immune to poison, but I brought Detox Horn just in case he does poison me. So it's basically the same setup I had with uh, Yeon Garuga. Now... I think the most annoying part about this guy is how much he friggin' flies around. Good old king of the skies with his around the world trips. The hardest part of this fight is just gonna be getting enough damage in, I think, because he just never holds still. Well, he's holding still pretty good right now, but who knows how long that'll last. And he's already pitched. And I just 
roll right into that fucking fireball. Tried to warn you, Absaros, don't fuck with me when I'm friggin' hunting. But they wouldn't listen. Alright, let's make a quick tactical retreat. Because I've been taking a few too many fireballs to the face. And that's not so good for my health bar. Uh, thank you, Meowk. Even if it's just a little bit, it helps. Univer, you get out here too. Yeah, Univer's wearing his, uh, uh, I think it's Meow Star armor from the Universal Studios Japan event quest. Technically, you have to hunt a Glavinus in order to get that armor, and we haven't done that on camera yet. But I don't care if it's breaking my rule of uh, not using stuff made from monsters that we haven't hunted on screen yet. Because uh, it's his armor. Like, he's Univer, as in Universal Studios, and that's the Universal Studios armor. He was meant to wear it, so fuck you, that's the armor he wears. <laughs> anyway. Smack his face up a bit. Oh, mid-air break. And now's a good time to get some hits on that tail. There we go. I don't know if that's going to end up with me severing his tail or not, but... Oh, they broke his wing. I'm like, what part did they even break? Yeah, I can't even reach the fucking tail. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Univer has the uh, ultrasonic horn, but that won't really do much against Rathalos. And we got a Wyvern tier. Yay. Okay. And he's going to two. Alrighty then. <sighs> Good old Rathalos. I remember back when they first invented Rathalos. I always hated him. <laughs> I mean, he's the poster boy for the Monster Hunter series. He's basically the Pikachu of Monster Hunter, even though he's more like Rathalos, or more like uh, Charizard, really. But, uh, you know, he is what he is. Some call him the asshole of the skies, and I do believe that is somewhat of a fitting title for him, but... Ooh, another mid-air knockdown. I am just getting so fancy today. Yeah, he may be annoying sometimes, but he's still the poster boy for the series. And I still sort of hold a special place in my heart for him, when he's not being too much of an asshole anyway. The question is, can we get that tail cut? Where's that shiny? Could be a plate. Gotta get that shiny. Oh, there it is. I got ran over for a wyvern tear. That's just great. Well, at least it sent me into rage mode. Oh, come on. I keep just barely missing. Part of me wants to get that tail sever, and another part of me is just like, just like, don't worry about it. It's not worth the headaches. Now he's going all the way to friggin' six. Jesus. I guess he's hungry, going to eat or something. I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, not much to really say, uh, how about that weather? <laughs> Actually, it's been a friggin' heat wave lately. Can't wait till it finally dies down and turns into my favorite season, fall. I love fall. All the bugs are dead, all the flowers are dying, and there's no, like, extreme heat or cold. It's, like, sort of in the middle. No allergies, no friggin' bugs everywhere. It's it's the perfect, like, in the middle season, in my opinion. But 
Summer is probably my second favorite season because it's like perfect vacation weather. We are getting some hits on that tail, but I just don't know if we'll be able to get the sever. Maybe if we can mount him. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Can cats sever tails? I do believe they can. That was pretty satisfying. We got the subquest, boys. We severed his tail. Get out of my face, Absaros. Not even you can ruin this perfect moment. Let's see what we get from the tail. We got a scale from the tail. Oh, well. It's better than nothing. And, uh, yeah, we actually beat that subquest pretty easily. I didn't think, uh, we'd be able to do it, but we did it. So, fancy that. Now all that's left is to kill him. And this is an interesting area to fight in. Ah, he's doing his tired charge. That's just great. Okay, I didn't know if he was going to charge again, so I went for the boomerang there. Ugh. That stupid, lazy, falling down charge. Shut up, Rathalos. That would be cool if a sonic bomb would knock him out of the sky, but looks like that's not how it works. Okay. That would have been a perfect chance for a fucking mount, but of course, by the time I get here, he goes back the other way. Maybe if you two idiots, ow, could come here. I don't know why they're on the other side of the fucking map. Meowk, get over here. Ah, uh, screw it. Now he's going to be fucking running back and forth from one side of the map to the other because these fucking idiots don't know how to follow me. Fireball to the face is painful. Ugh. Please get out of the way. Is there an exit here? There should be a fucking exit here. Ugh, what a fucking disaster that was. No mount, no nothing. All I did was get my fucking ass kicked. Okay. Well, at least you idiots still know how to heal. When the time is right, I guess. Sometimes they completely just neglect to heal me, but other times they come through for me, so it is what it is. And I am also sorry about this camera. I wish I had a better setup, but say lovey. I want to break his face because it's I think it's one of the only parts we haven't broken. Oh, and the back, but we're not going to break that back unless we can get a couple mounts in, and that doesn't seem likely. Fucking charge mania over here. What a fucking asshole. And he leaves. Just fabulous. <sighs> Playing fucking tag with this asshole. Motherfucking bug. So stupid. I don't know why they just pumped up the fucking aggressiveness level of the small monsters to a ridiculous amount in this game. Like, they will not fucking chill. They have 0% chill in this game. Like, even the fucking Apsaros. If they so much as see you from the other side of the fucking map, they will chase you to the ends of the earth. It is so stupid. 
I don't know what they think they're accomplishing by attacking me who can easily kill them. They, they have no sense of self-preservation at all. It's really kind of sad. In real life, these monsters would be fucking extinct. Because they don't know how to run. How to fucking save their own skin. Alright, and he's charging again. And flying again. Classic Rathalos. Now what is he doing? Looks like he went for a Poison Talon attack. God damn it, I can never dodge those fucking charges. Haha, uh -huh, you stupid fucking bullfango, you missed me. How did we knock him down? Well, doesn't matter. Point is, we're kicking his ass. Oh wow, we really are kicking his ass. He's limping away in agony. Yeah, but we still can't hit the broadside of a barn. Well, it's it's almost over. We almost got him, boys. Question now is where the hell is he going? All the way back to fucking seven. I feel like there really should be a shortcut between areas two and nine. But whatever. Or even 2 and 10. That would be extra helpful. But I guess uh, 2, 3... Or yeah, when I said 10 I meant 7. But yeah. You gotta go from 2 to 3 to 7. But I guess that's okay. Maps, am I right? How they fucking organize these things is anybody's guess. Oh, you thought I was going to fall for that charge again, motherfucker? Not this time. But maybe that time. Ugh. And how are they both instantly dead that fucking fast? This is so stupid. Alright, Rathalos, enough with your airborne bullshit. Okay, both of my comrades are dead, and Rathalos runs away again. I don't know where he sleeps, but I'm guessing, yeah, up in eight. Alrighty. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that Wrath of Meow. And uh, I'm looking forward to when we finally hunt the last member of the Faded Four. The uh, Glavinous Hunt. Which I'm guessing is going to be the uh, um, next urgent quest. Because we've already hunted every other member of the Faded Four, except Glavinus. The only one that's not available right now is Glavinus. So I'm thinking it's got to be the urgent quest. It's the only explanation. Anyway, wakey wakey eggs and bombs. You know the routine. And with that, we've done it. The Rathalos is defeated. Good job, Meowk and Univer. Don't worry, Luther will be back eventually. I know he's been absent the past couple episodes. He's just taking a relaxing little vacation of his own, I guess. But yeah, we beat Rathalos, we severed his tail. And now, we're going to get that Wrath of Meow skill that I've been waiting for all this time. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. <laughs> and, uh, I think there's just one more monster left for us to hunt before our next urgent quest, which is probably going to be Glavinus. 
Uh, but before that, we got one more uh, fire type brute wyvern to deal with. That's right, next time we're going up against the Uragon. Jay Leno, that ought to be fun. <laughs> As a cat. Oh boy. But for now, let's take a look at our rewards. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh, a marrow, that's good. And monster bones. Some webbing. Mm hmm. More marrow, very good. Alright. I can deal with that. Some decent rewards. And he was sort of big, but not really. Not a crown or anything. And there it is. <laughs> At long last, Wrath of Meow is finally mine. And Grudge, Math Grudge Match Rathalos is now available in the arena. Whoopee. Oh boy. It's time. Time to start rolling up in my tank and shooting people down. So much fun. <laughs> it only gets more fun from here, folks. And what's this? What? The kitchen got upgraded? Oh my goodness. I gotta see this. Oh my god. Look at the... There's like a giant mushroom and a giant piece of bacon and oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. That's so cool. New kitchen for the win. Alright, well. This has been one heck of a cool episode. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.